Hey friends, welcome to your practice. My name's Sophie and today we're doing a 75 minute spinal flow. This is an intermediate level vinyasa flow class. We'll be doing some challenging poses. With that being said though, you can make this class whatever you want it to be, opt out or opt in for any of the poses or movements that we do. Um, I have a block here and I'm gonna be using it and showing you how to use it in the very beginning of the class for something but that's the only time we'll really will need it. So if you don't have a block, no big deal. But if you do have one, grab it. If you have two, even better, grab both of those and have them handy. We're gonna get started laying down on our backs. Make sure your block is within reach once you come down, but then just have it to the side. And we'll start in a broken bridge so your feet will go as wide as the mat and your knees knock in towards each other. Place your hands on your belly Close your eyes. Feel your feet on the ground, from the toes to the balls of the feet to the heels. Feel your tailbone on the earth, the back of the pelvis, the lower back, the mid back, upper back and shoulders the backs of the arms and the elbows touching the ground. Feel the back of your head on the earth. Feel the whole back of your body resting down in connection to the flow of the universe, the flow of the earth. Take a breath in and feel the belly fill up underneath the hands. Exhale out of the mouth until you're completely empty. Inhale again. Feel the rib cage expand under your hands as well. And exhale, let it go. Maybe you sigh it out. And again, big breath in. And a breath out all the way until you're empty. Let your breath return to normal. In and out of the nose if possible. Feel the expressionless quality of the face. So your face is so relaxed that there's no expression. Can the eyes relax a little more? The eyelids, the space around the cheeks spread wide. Forehead, skin spreads wide. Start to bring in a little bit of a deeper breath, perhaps an ujjayi breath, that ocean-like sound on the exhale. Connecting to the breath that will carry you through this practice. And then we'll blink the eyes open. Grab the block. If you have it, if not, you can do a regular bridge. We're going to do a supported bridge, either the lowest or the middle height. You're going to bring your feet right under your hips and lift your hips up and then slide the block underneath, um, a right like above your tailbone, but below your lower back. So resting on the back of the pelvis and then your pelvis rests over the block. Your arms rest down by your sides. And your legs don't have to be so held together. You can kind of let them splay out a little bit if that helps you relax. Let go of effort in the hips. Think about how you've been efforting in the hips all day or all yesterday if it's morning. Whether you're standing or sitting or even laying, the hips are kind of working in a way.
And take one more deep breath here. And then press the feet into the ground, lift the hips up, and slowly remove the block as you slowly lower your hips down to the ground. We'll do a couple pelvic tilts. So press your low back into the ground by engaging your core, and then release. And again, press and release. Do that a few more times. And then find neutral and extend your legs long. Take your arms overhead and reach and take a full body stretch. Then take your legs over to the right side and cross your left ankle over your right ankle. Grab onto your left wrist with your right hand and take a side bend to the right. Move your right shoulder down away from your ear to give yourself more space to side bend. Knit the ribs in so your core is engaged even through this pose, this side bend through the left side body. And then we'll switch sides, legs over to the left, right foot on top of left, grab onto right wrist, take a side bend to the left. So throughout this class, we're focusing on doing a lot of side bending and twisting, some back bending and forward folding. So they're all, those are all the planes of movement for the spine. We're just aiming to bring in fluidity into the spine so we can feel healthy, feel good in our bodies. Come back to center and then bend your knees. Bring your arms down by your sides and lift your hips up for a regular bridge. This time you're imagining you have a block between your thighs and you're squeezing it or you have a band around your thighs. And here's where you want to focus on tucking your tailbone as you lift your hips. Press your hands into the ground. Lift your hips a little higher. And then lower your hips down to the ground. And bring your knees in towards your chest without grabbing them. And then take your arms out wide, palms face up. Drop your knees all the way over to the right. Anchor your left shoulder down. Maybe you look to the left. Just a quick twist. Keep that steady breath going, the one that we just established in the beginning. Maybe it's ujjayi breath or just a regular in and out breath. Bring your knees back to center. Drop them all the way over to the left, up in line with your chest, or more so like your belly button, and bring your right arm over to the right, right shoulder down, maybe you gaze to the right. And slowly bring the knees back up to center, Hug them in, wrap your arms around. Give yourself a little hug here, maybe a rock side to side. <clears throat> and then we're gonna start rocking up and down because we're gonna land in a forward fold. So however many times you need to rock to do so, do that. And then right into forward fold. Take your feet wide, rag doll. So grab onto the elbows. You can kind of bounce a little or sway side to side or maybe a little bit of both. Your sways can be big or small. Switch the grip of your arms to the other arms in front. And then release your arms down to the ground and bring your feet to hip distance and lift up halfway and fold forward over your legs and then stay in your fold and shift your weight into your toes. And then slowly roll yourself up to stand. In Tadasana, and roll the shoulders back and down and reach your arms up. Then interlace your hands and flip your palms up. 
and reach your arms to the sky or reach your palms of your hands to the sky without arching your back. Can you keep your ribs in? Your shoulders come up towards your ears to create as much of a reach as possible. Inhale and exhale round your spine for a standing cat pose. And inhale, reach back up. Exhale round into cat. Inhale, reach up. One more time, exhale round. Inhale, reach. And release your arms down by your sides. Roll the shoulders back and down three times. One, two, and three. And then reach your arms up to the sky, inhale. And exhale, forward fold. We're gonna move through some sun salutations. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, step back into plank. Set your knees down on the ground. Keep your elbows by your ribs as you lower down for a modified chaturanga. And then rise right back up. And again, lower down and lift. And lower and lift. Two more, down and up. On this last one, you come all the way down. So go down, hold, and then go all the way down. Untuck your toes and lift up for a cobra as high or low as it feels good for you. Shoulders go back. Inhale. Exhale, lower back down to the ground. Tuck your toes, lift your thighs, and we're gonna press up to plank all the way up, straight line, and then downward facing dog. Breath in. And breath out. Now, Take a moment here to explore your down dog. I like to take my feet a little bit wider for the first one. Make sure that your neck is not doing any unnecessary work. So shake out your head a bit. Press your palms and insides of your knuckles into the ground so you have a nice grip of the hands. Maybe you lift and lower your heels. Good, then we'll find stillness here for a moment and look forward and make your way to the front of the mat. You could step there or hop there. Lift up halfway, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, stand, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart and your arms down by your sides. A few more times, reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Now we'll change this up a bit. With or without your knees, lower down halfway, chaturanga. Hold for three, two. Now come all the way down to the ground on one. Slide your, untuck your toes, slide your hands back so they're under the elbows. And we'll lift up into upward facing dog. So lift your chest and then the thighs lift as well, the knees off of the ground just by an inch. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in and out. Look forward. Step or hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand. Reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Arms down by your sides. Inhale, reach up. Gaze up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Step or hop back to Chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Stay here in down dog. We're gonna work through some spinal rolls. So you're gonna round through your upper back like cat and roll yourself into plank. Then bring your knees an inch off the ground. Shift your hips back so you're floating. Lift your hips up, down dog. Roll through the upper back into plank. Lower your knees an inch off the ground. Hips back, all right? So keep going, lift the hips, down dog. And so now start to smooth out this movement. Or smooth out all of these separate movements into one. Roll through your spine. Take as much time as you need to move through each one. Then let's meet back in downward facing dog. Make your way again to the front of the mat, step or hop forward. Halfway lift, 
and fold. Stand, reach the arms up and bring hands to your heart and arms down by your sides. Moving through Sun Salutation C, reach the arms up, inhale, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, step your right leg into low lunge. Set your back knee down onto the ground and reach the arms up. Press your hips forward, but also squeeze them together and up. If you want, you can take a little back bend, inhale and exhale, hands back down to the ground. Lift your back knee, step into plank. Chaturanga or come all the way to the ground. Cobra or up dog and downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Lift your right leg up. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Anchor your left hip back in space. Both shoulders are even as the hands press evenly into the ground. And then straighten your right leg back out and step your right foot between your hands. Put your back knee down, reach the arms up just like we did on the other leg. Press your hips forward, reach up through your torso and maybe a back bend. Inhale, exhale, hands down, lift the back knee and step forward. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, stand, reach up, exhale, fold, back down. Second side of our sun, C, lift up halfway, step left leg back, low lunge, put your knee down, reach your arms up, Optional back bend. Inhale, exhale, hands down. Lift the back knee, step to plank. Flow through however you'd like, eventually meeting in downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up, bend your knee, open your hip. Straighten the left leg out. Step your left foot between your hands. Put your knee, right knee down. Reach your arms up. Back bend, inhale. Exhale, hands down. Lift the knee, step forward, halfway lift. And fold. And stand, reach the arms all the way up. And bring your hands to your heart. And your arms down by your sides. Come into chair pose. Sit low. Find your breath, the breath that steadies you the most, find that. Find your focus, soften the face and soften the mind. For three, two, and one forward fold. Lift up halfway, step your right leg back into low lunge. And then we'll go from here to a straight leg position. So take an inhale and exhale, straighten your left leg and fold. And then inhale, bend the knee, open up the chest, shoulders back. Exhale, straighten the left leg and fold. Keep going. By the way, if you have blocks, you can always put your hands on blocks here or any time in the practice. Now let's straighten the left leg and stay there. An option to lift the bottom of the left foot if that feels good for you right now, draw the left hip back, re-lengthen the spine, and maybe you stay lengthened, or if it feels right, you can fold over your left leg. Maybe your hands press so firmly into the ground that your left heel gets light, and you can imagine you're dragging your left heel back. This will give you more of a stretch through your calf and hamstrings. Now bend your left knee back into low lunge and step to the front of the mat. Lift up halfway and step your left leg back into low lunge. Inhale, exhale, straighten the right leg, fold. Inhale, bend and open. Exhale, straighten and fold. Keep going.
once more bend and straighten and then lift the bottom of the foot press your hands firmly into the ground lift and lengthen your spine maybe you fold and maybe you imagine you're dragging the right heel back or you kind of are doing that in a way it's an isometric movement so your leg isn't going anywhere but you're creating that action and then bend your right knee back into low lunge step to the front of the mat and we'll come into chair pose again reach your arms up I'm going to hold here for three, two, on one, forward fold. Great job. Lift up halfway, and we're going to land in a down dog. We're going to hop back if you can. So plant your hands, get bouncy through your knees, and when you land in down dog, keep your knees bent. So when you're ready, go for it. So kind of creating a buoyancy to the landing. Good. Then you're going to bring your hands back a little bit so you're in a short down dog. Bend your knees. Right hand grabs onto outer left ankle or shin or heel. Bend your right knee more as you straighten your left leg more and look underneath your left armpit. And switch sides. Right hand down, left hand grabs onto the outer right leg as you twist to the right. Left knee bends a little. Continue to twist as much as you can, pressing away from the ground. And then bring your hands back. And we'll make our way into plank. Wrap your core in towards the center. And then shift your weight forward an inch. And side plank facing the right side of the room. So roll onto the left side or roll onto your left foot. Maybe you stack your feet, maybe you stagger. Stay right here with your legs zipped together. Right arm can reach over your ear. If you're shaking, that's good. Breathe for five, four, three, two, one. Reach the arm up. Come back into plank and we're going to the other side, right to it. Reach your left arm over your ear. For five, four, three, two, one. Reach your left arm back up and bring your hand back to plank. Set your knees down on the ground. Walk your hands back and come onto the backs of the hands with your fingers facing each other and wiggle out those fingers. We've already done a lot on the wrists, so we want to make sure that we're giving the wrists a break and counter stretching them. Try to open and close your fists and then come back onto the palms. Now we're going to sit back on the heels for toes pose. You're always welcome to untuck the toes if it becomes too much in this position. But reach your arms up and grab onto your elbows. So make, you're making a frame around your head. And then from here we'll start by uh, taking a side bend to the right. So side bend to your right. Keep the ribs in. And then we're going to turn in this into a full uh, um, kind of flexion of the spine, not necessarily a fold, but we're going to round forward and the elbows face forward. Okay, pause there. Then go to the left into a side bend. So you're opening your chest, keeping the ribs in, and go into a back bend, spinal extension. Do that two more times, but now make it smooth and a little faster. So go to the right, down and forward, to the left, and back. And again, smooth it out. Now the next time you go to the right, pause there. And we go back into a back bend. 
over to the left, side bend, hold. Go forward to round the spine, hold. Go to the right, hold. And go back and then we'll smooth it out two more times in that direction. Once more, this is such good movement for the spine. The next time you come to the left, you'll pause and then just come back up to center and release your arms. If you're still in toes pose, you can come off the toes and we'll do some neck release after that. So just tilt your right ear to your right shoulder. It's a lovely release after that. Bring your head back to center, left ear to left shoulder. And come back to center. Wonderful. And we'll go back into down dog. Let me fix my microphone here. Go into down dog though. Okay. And walk your hands to the back of the mat. Lift up halfway. Fold forward and then stand, reach your arms up all the way and hold there. So with your arms up, reach your le lift your left leg up into one legged mountain and put your right hand on your hip. Even out your hips, so then make sure that you're not leaning to the right too much or your left hip isn't higher than, than your right hip. Then with your left fingertips, grab onto your left big toe and reach the left leg straight out in front of you. You can also keep, the leg doesn't have to be straight, it can be bent, and you can also just hold on to the knee. Maybe you take your left leg out to the left and your right arm out to the right for extended hand to big toe pose. Stand a little taller through your right hip, through your spine, and cross your left ankle over your right thigh for figure four. And when you go into figure four, you want to just go right into like basically a chair pose. And get really low. As you anchor down through your left knee so you can really feel that stretch through the outer left hip. Can you make your neck nice and long? So instead of looking up, look down towards the middle of your mat so your neck is in line with your spine. Either stay here or you can twist to your right. Hook your left elbow over the the bottom of your, right, your left foot. Keep your gaze down for balance. Maybe push your elbow into your knee and twist a little more. Come back to center. Now we're gonna cross the left foot over the right foot for a twisted forward fold. So your legs are in a crisscross position. Maybe you can line up all of your toes Fold as deeply as you can. And then uncross your legs and stand all the way back up. Reach the arms up and pause. Lift your right leg up, ground into your left foot. Anchor that right hip down so the hips are squared. Put left hand on your left hip, right fingertips to your right big toe. Reach your right leg forward. Again, right hip down. So modify this however you need. Maybe open to the right. Left arm opens to the, to the left. Stand taller through your left hip. Broad through your shoulders, down away from the ears. A smile on your face. A powerful pose. Now across the right ankle over left thigh, figure four. Hands to your heart, sit low, flex your right foot. Either stay here or uh, bring your right elbow over to the left. So you're twisting, you're putting it on the bottom of the right foot, right in the center, arch of the foot. Press the hands together maybe. If your balance is okay here, you can Try to twist a little bit more, pressing the elbow firmly into the foot. And 
come back to center. And cross your right foot over your left foot for a twisted fold. Line up those toes. Uncross your feet and lift up halfway and walk your hands out to downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up. Inhale and exhale. Bring your right foot through. Step it through warrior one. Your back heel goes down and your arms reach up and bend your right knee. Take your arms behind you, interlace your hands, and let's do the awkward way first, so the opposite uh, thumb on top, the way that feels less natural. Roll the shoulders back, lift the elbows, lift the arms further back, and then fold inside of your right leg, humble warrior. Try to connect your right knee to your right shoulder. Now keep this fold, release your hands and hover your hands inside of your right leg, but don't put your hands on the ground. Then shift to the back of the mat, skandasana and get low. So um, if this doesn't pose doesn't work for your body, you can be more of a high side lunge, which looks like this. So you're picking one. And then if you're in skandasana, press your right heel into the ground like you're trying to drag your right heel towards your body. We'll travel from here into warrior two, maybe using no hands as you shift into virabhadrasana two, but don't get comfortable because we're gonna go right back. Ready, skandasana, back of the mat or high side lunge. And warrior two, and again, back of the mat. And were you two once more with me? Ready? Go back and Virabhadrasana to pause there. Flip your right palm, reverse warrior. Inhale, exhale, lizard. Hands go down inside of your right foot. Slide your right foot to the right. Set your left knee down to the ground. Untuck your toes and press the top of the left foot into the ground. Either stay here or you can twist to the right. Broaden the shoulders. Left shoulder moves down and away from the ear. Option to bend your back knee and grab onto your foot. Now, if you want more of a stretch here in your left quads, flex your left foot. You can hold onto the heel. You can even grab the ankle and it'll bring the stretch more up into the hip flexors. If you need it, you might not need more stretch here. If you have the foot, release it. Reach your arm up and keep it there. Lift your back knee. And now we're gonna roll onto the outer edges of both feet, kind of for a funky lizard but then step back into plank, or side plank rather. Step back into side plank. Option to lift your right leg and maybe you do a variation, bending the knee, pointing the knee up to the sky, or a tree pose if you want. For five, four, three, two, one. Come into a one-legged plank, right leg straight back. Then bring your right knee to your left upper arm and extend your right leg out to the left side. Your option to grab onto the foot and reach it forward. Maybe start to reach it towards the front of the mat just a little bit. My leg doesn't go there fully there at the moment. Maybe your right foot's on the ground for rock star. Then we're gonna bring it back to three-legged dog. Lift your right leg up and back. Shift forward into three-legged plank. Chaturanga, both feet down for upward facing dog and downward facing dog. 
Breath in and out. Lift your left leg up. Inhale, exhale, step your foot between your hands and come up into warrior one. So bend into the front knee. And your back leg is really straight and strong. Take your arms behind you, interlace your hands now more the natural way. And roll the shoulders back and open the chest. Humble warrior. And I know it's hard to hold some of these poses when we just want to move and get out of it, but that's the practice. This is the practice right here, right now. Can you stay, not just physically, but mentally stay here? Now bring your hands to hover inside of your left foot. And then back of the mat, skandasana or side lunge. We pause here for a moment, press the left heel into the ground, drag it towards you, hands to heart, chest is open. Okay, warrior two. Back of the mat, skandasana. Warrior two. Back of the mat. Warrior two. Once more with me. And so we go back to warrior two and we pause there. Flip your left palm reverse. Lizard, hands down inside of left foot. Slide your left leg to the left. Put your right knee down on the ground, untuck the toes. The top of the right foot presses down. The left arm reaches up. Twist, twist, twist from the base of your spine to the top. Bend the knee, grab onto your foot. Option to flex the foot. And then release the leg, left arm still reaches up and we're staying in the twist. Lift the back knee and roll onto the outer edges of your feet and stack your left foot on top of your right. Option to lift your left leg, take a variation of Vashistasana, side plank. Five, four, three, two, one, one-legged plank. Left knee to right upper arm, extend your leg. You can either put your foot down and lift your right arm up, or you can grab onto your foot, maybe reach it forward. And we'll go back to three-legged dog. Go into your three-legged plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Walk your hands to the back of the mat. Gorilla pose, step onto your hands with your feet. So your backs of your hands go to the ground, your toes go up to your wrists. Wiggle your toes to massage the wrists. Shift your feet side to side on the balls of your feet. So we're using that pressure to release, release the hands. And then release the hands down. Walk your hands back out to down dog. Lift your right leg up again and step your right foot between your hands low lunge and set your back knee down. Now if you have a block, you can grab it and bring it on the highest height over to the right side of the mat. And so you're in Anjanayasana. 
You can put your right hand on your block or on the ground and your left arm up and take a side bend to the right. Hug the hips into the center so you have strong pelvis, strong core as you reach over. It's such a great stretch through the whole left side body. And then reach your arms up and straighten your right leg for half splits. Reach your arms back behind you if you can. Maybe your right heel moves forward a bit. So we're kind of doing this like a floating half splits. Can you lean forward a little more while from hinging from the hips? Then plant your left hand down and reach your right arm up. So now we get the stretch on the whole outside of the right leg. I love this one. So how's your twist? Are you broadening through the chest, really rotating? Now press down into your left hand and then lift the right leg up and slowly bring it back behind you. You're going to take your left foot a little to the left for a better balance. And so here we're in a modified side plank. Flex that right foot. Now bring your right heel to your glute. So without gra don't, don't grab the foot yet. All I want you to do is bend your right knee and squeeze your glutes, especially your right glute muscles and reach your right knee further back. So now you're in a back bend with your right hand, grab onto the foot. So it should be right there for you. So we're coming into that from more of a place of strength. Now kick the foot into the hand and create that bow shape like a bow and arrow getting more and more taut through the bow. Take another breath here. And we extend the right leg and the right arm up. Right. Now we're going to step the right foot back into our favorite lizard lunge. Step your right foot all the way to the front of the mat. Lift your back knee and then kick your left leg through into our lizard kick through. And we're gonna come into boat pose. Hips down, legs lift up. Start with the knees bent. If you wanna straighten them, you can. Lower down halfway, hold, look towards your feet, and then bring it back up. High boat, lower down for low boat, and then lift up. High boat, lower, low boat, high boat. Now hold here. Our next move, we're gonna cross at the ankles and hop back to our down dog, landing with bent knees. So we cross the ankles, plant the hands, and down dog. So we've done enough chaturangas today. So take a breath in through your nose and out of your mouth. And let's keep moving, my friends. Lift your left leg up, step your left foot between your hands and set your back knee down and reach your arms up. Then bring your left hand down either to a block on the highest height or onto the ground and reach your right arm over your ear to the left. Reach both arms up, inhale. On exhale, half splits, shift your hips back, slide your left foot forward, arms back, airplane arms, shoulders back as you hinge forward. You might tuck your toes of your right foot for better stability. Place your right hand down, lift your left arm up. Lift or continue to twist here through your left shoulder. As you draw your left hip back a little bit more. Maybe you gaze up to your left fingertips.
Now we're gonna lift the left leg up and swing it back. Your right foot will kind of tick out to the right a little bit, like a kickstand. Flex your left foot, draw your tailbone down, so in other words, knit your ribs in. And then bring your left heel towards your butt. Pause there. Engage your left glutes. Reach the left leg back more, so now you're in a back bend. You're opening through your left hip flexors. Reach your left hand back, grab onto your foot, kick your foot into your hand. We extend your left leg. We're gonna step all the way into lizard. Keep your left arm up and lift your back knee up. Kick your right leg through, lizard kick through. And now you know where we're going. We're gonna go into a seat for boat pose, Navasana. Lower down halfway. Lift it back up. And go down. And rise up. Once more, lower. Lift up. This time we're gonna land in a forward fold. So plant your feet down and see if you can make your way there. It's okay if it wasn't pretty. I know we didn't have as much momentum coming from boat. But once you're there, breathe and fold deeply, fold deeply. Maybe grab, grab onto the backs of your legs. Spread your shoulders wide. Release your hands. I'm gonna stand all the way up, mountain pose, and roll the shoulders back and down. Reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Lift up halfway. Now keep your fingertips on the ground. Get a nice, true half lift here. And take your left leg straight back behind you into warrior three. Lift through your chest. Draw your right hip back so there's more space between your right rib cage and your right hip. Reach the crown of your head forward. And then bring your hands to your heart for balance here. You're gonna find a more of a lift through your core. Option to reach your arms forward for three, two. On one, put just your left fingertips down, put your right hand on your hip and start to turn to the right. Option to reach your right arm up. We're gonna keep this twist and step into a revolved triangle. Left heel down, right arm up. So not much changes with the upper body. Left hand can go into the outside edge of your right foot if you'd like, just a different variation. And bring your hands down to the ground, lift and lengthen. Let's just fold here in pyramid pose. Good. Lift up halfway, put your hands on your hips. St stand all the way up, nice and steady. One-legged mountain, take your left leg up with you to stand tall. Right hand can go onto the outer left knee or you can grab onto the outer left foot and extend your left leg forward as you twist to your left. Left arm reaches far back. From here, we're moving into goddess pose. Release your foot, step it all the way back, big step open, toes facing out, get low into goddess. Take your arms into cactus. Lift your heels up if you want. It's okay to find a little movement to keep yourself here. For three, two, get a little lower. One, stand tall, star pose. Hands on your hips, toes in, heels out. 
and fold forward Prasarita Padottanasana. Grab onto your outer ankles or any other variation that feels good you can do. I'm grabbing onto my ankles right now. Elbows are spreading wide. Reconnect to that breath, the one you established in the beginning. Did you forget about it? That's half of the practice, and that's okay if you forgot. We always, we just continuously remind ourselves and come back to it. Lift up halfway. Walk your hands to the front of the mat. Low lunge. And step back into plank. Now, face the right side of the mat for a side plank. I know we've been here a lot. This is one of our peak poses today. We're gonna to do a one-legged plank, side plank. So we're gonna lift the right leg up, bring the right heel to the glute, just like we did before in our modified side plank. And then option to grab onto your foot. Kick the foot into the hand. If you fall, it's okay. Okay, ready? Release and come into plank and set your knees down in child's pose. Hmm. Stretch your arms forward. One more deep breath in child's pose. Keep it active though, reach your arms for further forward and then make your way back into table and down dog. I'm gonna to go to the front of the mat, step or hop there. Lift up halfway and fold. Lift up halfway again. Take the right leg back into warrior three. Get your right hip in line with your left hip. Really reach your right toes back and the crown of your head forward. Bring your hands to your heart. Option to reach your arms forward. See if you can bring your belly button in for three, two. On one, put your right hand down and twist to your left, reach your left arm up. From Revolved Half Moon, Revolved Triangle, put your right heel down and continue to rotate. And bring your left hand down, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Lift up, put your hands on your hips and stand all the way up. One-legged mountain, right leg comes up with, right hand on hip, left hand to outer right knee or the outer right foot. Extend your leg forward and maybe the right arm back. Stand a little taller. We're gonna step into goddess. Release the right foot, step it all the way back. Gracefully land. The hands on the inner thighs, fingers face down. We're gonna twist to one side, left elbow or left shoulder drops down or either shoulder rather. And as you do this, push into your thighs so your knees open wider and we get this amazing stretch through the inner thighs, the adductors and then switch. Come back to center, bring your hands to your heart and stand tall. Heels out, toes in. And we'll do a forward fold. You can interlace your hands if you want and shoulders back or you can do any other version here as we go. Prasarita. Let's 
Slowly release your arms down and lift up halfway and walk your hands to the front of the mat and step back into one-legged plank and then side plank facing the left side and reach your left arm up. All right, here we go. Hekapada Vashisasana, lift your left leg, heel to glute, reach your left arm back, grab onto your foot with your hand. And then slowly release when you're done. And come into plank and child's pose. So you might have noticed that one side was harder in that pose. That side was definitely harder for me. And so just something to notice, but nothing to worry about. Soften everything. Maybe even take your knees together, arms by your sides. Forehead to the ground. Maybe you grab onto your heels. Relax your shoulders. And we're gonna rise up right into camel pose. So keep your hands on your heels, okay? And see if you can all at the same time come into camel. This is totally optional. If it doesn't work for your body, please don't push it. This is a fun variation. So fingertips on your heels and then press your hips forward and back bend, Ustrasana. And then go back into your seat the same way you came into it. Hmm. Close your eyes, let your hands rest on your thighs. And we're gonna come into, onto our backs. So, come all the way down. Arms by your sides. And we're going to do three back bends. So you can choose to do a bridge and two wheels or two bridges and a wheel, or all bridges or all wheels. You get, you get my drift. <laughs> Supported bridge the whole time if you want. All right, so I'm gonna do a one bridge and two wheels, but choose what works for you and lift up into your first. So we're gonna do about five breaths for each one. That's long, deep breaths. And then on the last breath, you'll lower down from wherever you were and just take a moment to settle. Okay, back bend number two, get set up. And press your way up. Slowly lower down to the ground. You could now take a moment to windshield wiper. I know I said the five breaths were long and slow, but maybe in my wheel I was making them a little faster. <laughs> so about the same length now for the last one. All right, get yourself set up and lift up. Whatever you choose is perfect and beautiful. And slowly lower down. Slow, slow, slow. You can take your hands up and just kind of let the wrists flop or take some circles. And then take your arms overhead and drop your, keep your feet wide and drop your knees to the right. Notice if you're holding tension in your neck or shoulders. All it takes to release it is just a conscious exhale and awareness. 
switch your legs. So you're twisting on the other side. And then bring your legs back up to center. Bring your knees into the chest and we're gonna rock ourselves up to a seat. So Ardha Matsyandrasana is what we're going for here. We're gonna start with the legs straight out in front of us. That's half Lord of the Fishes pose. Bend your right knee. And bring your right foot over to the left side and then bend your left knee underneath if you'd like. And just kind of tuck everything in close. Sit tall. Bring your right fingertips behind you and hook your left elbow over your right knee. Maybe you bring your left ear to the left shoulder for a little neck stretch and slightly look down. Yeah, look down towards your left shoulder. Bring your head back to neutral. And we'll go into Gomukhasana. So keep the legs crossed like this, but then I'll turn to face you. Then continue to cross them. So you walk your feet out to the sides as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Knees are trying, trying to stack the knees on top of each other mm -hmm. and sit tall. So then take your left arm up. I'm not mirroring you, so make sure you do your left arm. And bring your left hand to the back of your neck. Take your right arm out internally rotate your right arm and then bring your hand behind you and see if you can bring the hands towards each other or maybe they don't clasp maybe you just keep your hands on your back and sit tall and even everything out maybe you close your eyes and take deep breaths you are here And on your next exhale, slowly release your grip of your arms and we'll keep our legs as we fold forward. Walk the hands down and let your head drop down. Walk your hands back up. Uncross your legs and take your legs straight out in front of you. And bend your left knee. Cross your left foot over to the right. Bend your right knee underneath and sit tall. And we'll twist to the left, left fingertips behind you. Hook your right elbow. Broad chest again. I see a lot of people do this where it's sort of a lazy kind of um, twisting of mostly the lower back but can we focus on the upper back and the shoulders, the chest, and then maybe you look um, down towards your right shoulder and bring your right ear towards your right shoulder for a neck stretch on that left side. And bring your head back to center. And face forward and keep your legs. You can stay. I'm just turning to face the camera, but you stay how you are. And then just take your legs further apart. Knees stack. The further you take your legs, the better stretch you get through your hips. Lift your right arm up. Right hand to the back of your neck. Left arm out. Internally rotate your left arm. And then bring your hand behind you. Maybe clasp, maybe not. Some days it doesn't feel good for me to touch my fingertips, so I just kind of leave them apart. So honor your body today. And release your arms. And walk your hands down and fold.
And walk your hands back up. Uncross those legs. Take them straight out in front of you. One more seated posture and then we'll make our way down. Reach the arms up, slight bend to the knees. So you can really lengthen your spine and then reach forward and grab onto the outer edges of your feet or your ankles or your shins. Lift and lengthen, keep your knees bent, fold over your legs. Now, if it feels good to you, you can straighten the legs if you can maintain that long spine. Go inwards here, go deep. This is your practice, your time. Yoga is an inward practice. Two more breaths. And slowly rise up. And we're gonna make our way onto our backs. Bring your feet all the way to the front of the mat. Take your arms out in front of you and slowly lower down, trying not to lift your heels. Then gather your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Take your knees wide, rock side to side. Grab onto the outer edges of the feet for happy baby. And then release your legs all the way down for Shavasana, well-earned Shavasana. Arms by your sides. See if you can bring your shoulder blades a little closer together. And then find total stillness in the body. Let go of any breath control and just let the breath be very natural. Rest.
to reawaken the body by deepening the breath and bringing movement into the fingers and toes. Slowly bend one knee, place that foot flat on the ground. Bend the other knee, place the foot flat and roll yourself to one side. Press up into a seat. Bring your hands together at your heart. And we'll bow together in gratitude for this practice. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you feel great. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this class. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and like the video, do all the things so that we can continue practicing together. All right, I'll see you next time.